This is a man that wants to jail politicians for not following his orders on climate change, who doesn't believe in free speech. Actually, I have first-hand experience with that. If you remember a while ago, he had his union thug henchmen shove me around as I tried to ask the great Suzuki questions. Well, for all of CBC's favors that they've done for him, Suzuki is well, pretty much an un ingrate. Turns out he canceled on a special birthday interview that was prearranged and negotiated with host Suhana Marchand. As we see in the email, Suzuki demanded to know who would be interviewing him on his own network before he would even agree to go on. Then he canceled anyway. Why? He was going to be out of town, they said. We actually think he was in Australia because we know he was in that country around that time. You know, lecturing other people about their carbon footprint. None of this can possibly dampen CBC's enthusiasm for their jet-setting host who has a foundation that shares the same aims as CBC. I mean, the news department, the freaking news department, did a big set of birthday greetings for the man who's controversial, at least outside of CBC. Here's how one producer described the state broadcaster in what they were planning for Suzuki's high holy day. Aaron Stropes wrote in an email, I'm pulling together some of the package of our mega super cool David Suzuki extravaganza in March. Mega super cool? Really? Do they describe anyone else like this? CBC and the Su Suzuki Foundation? They're inseparable as far as I can tell. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.